This morning we looked at this footage, but are you ready for the real reason why this car chase happened? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and thanks to all you who watched this morning's video. A lot of you did. In fact, if you haven't already, I'll put it at the end of this one. You're going to want to go watch this. This footage that clearly shows that Megan and Harry's security are the ones that are stopping traffic and causing a lot of this trouble. I'm waiting to see a single clip of the paparazzi actually doing something. And apparently the, uh, Harry filmed it. We saw him with his camera out, so we'll see. But guys, are you ready? A source has come forward. Granted, this is page six, but I, when I read this, I laughed so hard because I'm like, that's I totally believe this. The real reason why this whole car chase, two-hour, near-catastrophic car chase happened. You ready for it? It's because Harry and Meghan are too cheap. Now, wait, hear me out. I saw this and I was like, what? And no, I totally believe this. Guys, they stayed at a friend's apartment in New York City. Instead of where they typically have stayed before and where Princess Diana stayed, the Carlisle, which is a very high-end uh, hotel in New York City that, you know, prides itself in taking care of its celebrities and ensuring they can come and go at their leisure. And you got to remember, if they were staying at the Carlisle, they could have walked in the celeb, you know, drove into the celeb entrance. They wouldn't have gotten seen. They wouldn't have been worried about the chase of finding out their sanctuary, as, as some have said. Uh, the reality is they wouldn't pay for the hotel room at the Carlisle is why this all happened. And we're supposed to feel for them like, oh, boo hoo. Guys, when you have a secret service security team and you have paparazzi that are gonna do anything to get your photo and you're this famous, where you, they, these guys have a lot of money at this point. They've said it. He wanted to make all the money. He did the Netflix deals, the Spotify deals. It was all to get the security and save the money. Well, when you wanna travel to these benefits and you wanna have the quiet life, well, then you gotta invest in hotels like the Carlisle to keep your you know, status down. And I, I want you to see this because I, I believe this source and I wanna hear what you think. The entitled couple allegedly demanded the Carlisle, the late Princess Diana's favorite hotel, Give them a discounted room for their New York visit this week. Now, I don't know if that's true, but according to law enforcement sources, bosses at the Carlisle refused the hefty discount, so the embattled pair instead stayed at a friend's house on the Upper East Side. <laughs> I want to hear a comment down below. Do you buy this? We're going to keep going, but I'm gonna, a lot of you, finally, the algorithm is helping. Hit that button again if you haven't already. Hit that bell, and we'll keep you uh, privy to this and smash that like button. Do you want me to keep doing this story like I'm doing? Do you want me to keep swaying to team not Megan and Harry? Uh, I want to hear your comments down below and your thoughts. Do you not? Let's, either way. But what do you think of this source? Again, these law enforcement sources telling page six. Don't always love page six. I'll be honest. But this makes sense. Why weren't they at the Carlisle? Or heck, any reputable, expensive hotel that could protect their celebrity clientele. Why weren't they there? Paparazzi's not allowed in the hotel. And if the paparazzi followed the motel, well, look, they're there, they're gone, they're in, they can't go in. Uh, it's like the Continental at the in John Wick. Like, you know, there's, you just, hello, no paparazzi allowed inside. They may try to stink, but it's private property at that point. And, you know, they can get away with walking around. But apparently, um, yeah, they didn't. They stay at their friend's house on the Upper East Side instead. And when, uh, you know, the paparazzi began following them from the Zig Field, and what their spokesperson claimed was a relentless pursuit lasting over two hours, the duo didn't want to lead the photographers back to their friend's home and reveal where they were staying. New York City law enforcement source told police, uh, page six, they should have just gotten a hotel for the safety of everyone. Instead, they were cheap and wanted a free place to stay. <laughs> now, if that's true... All of this was because they were being cheap because they couldn't afford the hotel. And I'm supposed to feel bad for these two. Oh, Andy, you're being too hard on these two. They're so, they're victims to the, to the paparazzi. Oh my God, every celebrity has to deal with this. There's footage, I've been researching this. Footage of Taylor Swift just walking around New York with not even a security guard. You can do it. Like most New Yorkers don't care. They just don't care about celebrities. They're all just in their way. Paparazzi are usually called, right? 
they're called. Uh, and that's what I think really happened here. They were called. They were frustrated. They they then allowed one photographer. You missed this morning's video. Go check it out. They only allowed one photographer to take these foundation pics, but then told them all by the Hertz, Hertz ent exit entrance that they would, you know, be, ha ha, to take our photo. But then, oh crap, you like feed the wolves. You tell them you're there and these guys don't get paid unless they get photos. And now you're in public streets going where you're going. And they're like, all right, well, I'm going to follow you to where you leave. Maybe I'll get my, sh my snap there and I'll get paid. Idiots. I, I can't even fathom how they're playing this as victims. It just makes, this is disgusting. Corner source, Harry Megan's people called the Carlisle ahead of the trip and asked for a discounted room. The hotel said no. They just paid up and got a hotel in the first place. This supposed dangerous paparazzi car chase around town would have never happened. They would have been driven back to the Carlisle, been photographed going inside, and that would have been the end of it. Now, how much is the Carlisle? Well, in the past, they've both been regulars there where rooms go from around $1,200 and suites go up to $6,000 a night. Now, for a celebrity, that's not too bad. That's what you got to pay. That's the, the, again, the tax of being famous. Uh, they checked in the iconic duo during their 2021 stay. I think I have that here. Yep, they've even been there. This is the Palace of Secrets where Harry and Meghan have stayed previously in New York. So they know about it and they weren't harassed and put on a car chases last time. Uh, this is where um, Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, Steve Jobs have all stayed at this hotel. Uh, it's a, for UN uh, General uh, em General Embassy Assembly stays there. Uh, they stayed there for that. Um, if the elevator walls could talk, they would have stories. But you won't hear it from the staff. Built in 1930, located in Madison Avenue, 276, the Carlisles earned a reputation in a hideout for royalty, politicians, and celebrities. So why didn't you stay here? You've stayed here before. You know how this works. But no, no, it's very troubling to Gail King to see people downplay the car chase. Oh, come on, Gail. You just lost all credibility. And I know you've lost it for a lot, but I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here. But I guess you're just simping for Oprah who got that interview and you got to do whatever you can do. Come on. Come on, Gail. You sound so dumb here. What are you talking about? I think it's very unfortunate, the incident. She told page six, it's troubling to me that anybody would try to downplay what that would mean to them. It's very troubling because their feelings matter more than the facts. Feelings over facts when you're Meghan and Harry, I guess. Kent, uh, Gail King noted, it didn't feel fair for people to minimize how Harry and the Suits alum reacted to the situation. I'm just really sorry it happened and very sorry they had to go through it. Everybody can have all their opinions, but I always go back to how did they feel? in that moment. <laughs> How did they feel guys in that moment where they could have gone out other ways? They could have done a million things to avoid it. And instead they chose to go on a two hour thing because they didn't want their apartment to be located when they could have easily stayed at the Carlisle and saved all of this hassle to begin with. But no, Carlisle costs 6,000 bucks. I ain't paying that for that art deco inspired sanctuary. No, no, no. Let's save a few bucks and go stay at my friend's place. Oh, but crap, now the paparazzi are going to know. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, how are they feeling about it? You made choices. Why do we have to feel for your bad choices? I don't wish paparazzi chases on anybody, to be fair. But my God, that's what happens. Get used to it. This isn't your first rodeo. <laughs> I mean, how nuts is this? Again, page six source, but what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts again. If you haven't already, say it again in the comments. Help the engagement. Appreciate you guys so much. We've got more news to cover here on Popcorn Planet. Thank you so much. Do you want me to cover more of this and more Megan and Harry? Are you liking my, my turn? Uh, I want to hear it down below. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Whew.